Let's now learn how to measure a data point's distance from the average. The exercises following this video will explore U.S. train ridership to understand how it varies over time. So jump aboard the stats train. Variance measures how dispersed a data set is from its mean. The smaller the variance, the less spread the data is. Conversely, large differences between data points increase the variance. Column A repeats with no variation. Its variance is zero. In column B, one value, 14, is different, yet close to the others. Its variance is three. Column C has an outlier, 100. As a result, its variance is the highest among the three. To calculate variance, first calculate the mean. 10, 14, 10, and 10 divided by four equals 11. Next, subtract the mean from each value. For the first, third, and fourth values, 10 minus 11 is negative one. For the second value, 14 minus 11 leaves three. Easy, huh? In the third step, square all these differences from the average. Negative one squares to one, and three squared equals nine. Finally, take another average of the squared differences. 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 equals 12, divided by 4 equals 3. That was easy, but a bit cumbersome. Thankfully, there is a formula to calculate variance. Simply call VARP with an array, as shown in this example in which I calculate the variance for all three columns. Next stop, standard deviation. Keep in mind variance is the average of squared values. Thus, the variance is different from the original sample values, making it less intuitive. Most often, you will need to make sense of the variation by putting it in the scale of the original data. This is done by taking the square root of the variance, called standard deviation. After taking the variance with VARP, use SQRT, square root, to calculate the standard deviation. More easily, you can pass an array into STDEVP to get the same answer, here 1.73. Standard scores show you how a data point relates to the distribution. Our previous population mean was 11, and standard deviation was 1.73. Now we have a new data point, 12.73. Subtracting the standard deviation, 12.73 minus 1.73, you get back to the mean of 11. Thus, this new data point is exactly one standard deviation away from the mean. Another statistic for understanding a distribution is a percentile. Ordering a distribution and calculating the percentage of values below a specific point will tell you its percentile. This histogram visualizes 1 million values. The blue line average at zero is the 50th percentile because it splits the data evenly. Half the points are less than zero and half are greater. Quartiles are percentiles that segment the data into four chunks. The red line at negative 0.67 demonstrates 25% of the data is less than or to the left of negative 0.67. Another 25% of the data is greater than negative 0.67, but less than the blue average zero line. The next 25% chunk of the data is greater than zero to the right of the blue line, but less than the green line at 0.67. Finally, the remaining 25% of the data points are greater than 0.67 to the right of the green line. To get the popular percentiles in sheets, use the quartile function, accepting an array, then a number one through four, to specify the quartile. As you can see here, the first quartile is 234, the second is 456, the third is 567, and the fourth is 789. Excellent progress. Now let's 